Okay, everybody, let's get started building the Shearwater 17. Now, the Shearwater 17 is a hybrid kayak, so the bottom of the hull is stitch and glue. It's made out of Okume plywood, which you can see here on the work surface. And then the top deck is cedar strips. So we're gonna start off by joining up the Okume plywood. Now, purchasing it as a kit from Chesapeake Lake Craft, it ships in an eight foot long box. Now it's a 17 foot kayak, so the panels are eight feet long and we need to join them together. So the connection points of the panels are basically just like puzzle pieces and they simply lock together. Okay, now you might also see that I have some pieces of plastic here that I've just rough cut and what I'm gonna do with them is just lay them on top of my work surface at the glue joints and basically I'll just prevent it from gluing the pieces down to my work table. Um, you know, even if you're working on the basement floor, you definitely want to do this step. So to get started, what we're going to do is lay out these plastic pieces at the intersections of the Okume plywood. Like I already mentioned, the puzzle joints are epoxied together. And now if this is your first experience with epoxy, I highly recommend that you try a small batch just to get the feel of the mixing process and to make sure you've got the two to one ratio of resin to hardener corrected. Luckily, we're using the mass system epoxy and they come with calibrating pumps, so it should be pretty straightforward. Now, you wanna also make sure that you mix your epoxy up for at least two minutes. Okay, so for the joints, we're gonna add some cellophyll, right? Now, it's basically a silica powder to thicken it up. You want the consistency to be kind of like a thin mustard. Now, once that's done, we're gonna brush the epoxy onto the puzzle joints. Now, what I've done is I've just gotten a small paintbrush and I've trimmed off the hairs so that they're only half the length, all right? This makes it a little bit easier of a process without the brush hairs being so long that it becomes messy. Okay, so now that we have the epoxy on the puzzle joints, we're gonna carefully fit the individual pieces of the panels together. Now, some of the pieces might be a bit tight, and that's okay. If you need to, you can put a piece of wood over them and carefully tap them in with a hammer or a mallet. Once you have them all in place, make sure the matting sections are flush with each other. You can sight along the edges of the panels to make sure the curves are nice and smooth. So now with the puzzle joints connected, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut lengths of fiberglass tape, which is included in the kit. We're gonna cut the fiberglass tape to lengths that'll fit over the joints between the sections. Now we're gonna brush some epoxy onto the panel surfaces. So this time I've mixed up a small batch of epoxy without adding the cellophyll. I'm just gonna brush epoxy onto the panel surfaces at each puzzle joint, and then lay the tape over the joint and brush more of the epoxy to saturate the tape. Okay, so now we need to wait about 24 hours for the epoxy to cure. It's super important that we make sure that the panels are laid out so that they're not gonna be moved around, bumped or jostled at all. So one thing I'm gonna do is the way I've laid out my panels, I'm just gonna clamp them in place along my work surface. If you're working on a basement floor, just try to keep clear of them. Okay, now we've waited 24 hours and the epoxy's cured, so now it's time to trim the fiberglass flush with the edge of the panels using a simple utility knife. All right, well, the fiberglass is fully cured and I've got my panels joined up and they're nice and strong. Now, I use the utility knife to clean away the fiberglass, but I need to tidy it up more. We had some rough edges of fiberglass showing and now they'll get in the way of assembling the panels, but they're also quite sharp. So what I'm doing is I'm using my block plane with the blade set very shallow and I'm just skimming off those rough edges, all right? Be careful not to take off any wood. We just want to clean up that edge of fiberglass so it's flush with the wood surface. All right, so that's the end of this video. In the next video, we're gonna look at preparing the panels and getting ready for assembly.